My name is Catherine Tran. I work with Community CPA. And Thursdays are kind of our special days. We have our guests with us who we interview about different aspects of the community and how people can get involved. And today we have um, some, some guests returning. They've been on our webinar before. It is Penny Ferguson with Gateway Dance and with her is Claudine Cheatham, um, who also works with Gateway Dance Theater. So welcome. Uh, Penny and Claudine, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for thank having us. Yes. yes. So before I really jump into the questions, we will be talking about uh, summer and kids programs um, and how arts and culture are beneficial for children. But um, before we get into that topic, I want to share screen really quickly um, and talk about um, the community CPA. So one second. All right. So no responsibility disclaimer, of course. Um, be responsible with things regarding your business um, and your taxes and um, consult professionals if you need it. All right, so Penny, again, thank you for coming um, on to our webinar. I know you've been on before. Penny is the founder and executive artistic director of Gateway Dance Theater, um, which she founded in 1972 with her late husband, Lee. Um, so their goal is to provide quality urban arts programming in the Des Moines area. So again, Penny, thank you for being here. Claudine, um, do you want to speak a bit about your involvement with, um, with Gateway Dance? Yes, I've been involved. I really got involved this, um, during the um, second semester of school this year okay. with the artsy camp. And it was helping the kids in their after school program kind of introduced a little bit of acting to them. Um, we all know that the number one fear in America is public speaking. And I think getting a, a child involved in acting at a young age will help to build that self-esteem and negate some of those fears, you know? Wonderful. So your background is in acting and? Kind of, sort of. You know, I was just kind of, like I said, from the time I can remember, my first stage was our picnic table in our backyard. You know, my sister and I, she was a sixth grader, I was a fourth grader, and she would write plays and I would go all through the neighborhood and recruit kids to come and play the parts. And um, I would be directing and serving lunch and doing everything else that she bossed me around to do. So yeah, we've been doing that um, since, like I said, since I was in the fourth grade. I um, The first play that I can remember watching is um, A Gathering of Old Men. And my brother happened to have been in that. And um, I thought, wow, it almost felt like he was preaching to me from stage. And mm -hmm. I knew then that the stage, had as much power to conform and change as the pulpit does. And so they're, they're, they're the same to me, the stage right. and the pulpit, it will literally change your life. Wonderful. Well, thank you for coming on to this uh, talk with Penny. I'm sure she appreciates your insight on the classes. Penny, do you want to tell us a bit about the history of Gateway Dance um, and how it has engaged uh, children's programming historically? Uh, yes, we started in 72 and I actually, we had three young kids and I was looking for something to get them involved in the arts. And uh, I really couldn't find any, anything. Uh, there was some dance, but it wasn't very accessible to us. It wasn't diverse. It, it didn't, uh, let's say we didn't feel comfortable and we kept searching. And then finally, uh, my husband and I said, he said, let's just do it instead of 
researching and getting people together to talk about it. So that's how it was born. Uh, <laughs> and we didn't expect anybody to show up. We went on a TV show uh, mid-afternoon and announced it. Didn't think anybody would show. Well, we had 30 people show up of all ages. And, and from then on, we, we just kept doing I invited guest teachers to teach and then they, 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 they didn't want to continue, but we had this group. And so we just kept on and thought it would last a year, but here we are still plotting. <laughs> and it's for children, uh, but it's really for families. It's uh, all ages. It's very multi-generational. We have grandparents and parents and kids, and they can be on the stage at the same time. Many shows we have had that happen. You have three generations on the stage. That's wonderful to get the family involved with it. So very cool. So as an arts and culture based organization, what are some values and themes that you want the children to engage in while they're in the programs? Um, and why are these values important to you, to the organization and to you? Well, uh, I'm not very good at words, but I've, I'll attempt. Uh, the v value I'd want them to have is their own self-esteem mm. and, and the fact that we may come from diverse backgrounds. And I do want to have them touch on their roots because I think that's part of you and you need to know what's viable and share with people. Um, I, I just uh, feel that people are not uh, very aware. I, it's changing, but uh, we just look at performing arts from a Western Eurocentric right. <laughs> view. So we want to just open up the world <laughs> and introduce from everywhere when we can and what we can. So I, I think it really from what I've seen from those kids that have been there, they, they still correspond with me. And I actually got the other day something from a person She said, well, I had my children and grandchildren <laughs> in, in Gateway and they all have the fondest memories of it. So I just, can I use that as a quote? <laughs> yes, it's a lovely quote. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because, uh, and, and that's what's so, so wonderful. And we have a, a, a joke in our dance company that anybody who crosses the threshold, we just don't ever let them go. <laughs> and they, they get involved in one shape or form. Wonderful. So what sort of dance um, type things have, or performance, um, examples have you have you done in the past oh well I'm from India originally so that's what I was trained in and so of course that's going to come out and even as I learn other uh, styles that part of it shows up in my choreography uh, but we do Afro-Caribbean I was very interested in African rhythms my I um, and always loved jazz. So we went to St. Louis and uh, East St. Louis and worked with Catherine Dunham's studio and, uh, and invited some of their instructors to come to Des Moines and we went there. So we, we're, we know more of that and Indian dance. However, we also have done different kinds of dance. There was, uh, you might remember Cindy Chen she had her godmother came and was a dancer and she came and did a class with us and, and felt that she needed an interpreter and we arranged all that. Oh, and nice. The, and the interpreter said, you didn't need me because you guys <laughs> were doing it without me at all. We didn't use her at all. We, that's what we say that uh, the arts is a universal language. Mm -hmm. And 
and Claudine and and through the years we'd start with dance because that's what I knew and theater we put in there purposely because that gave it a more encompassing performing arts uh, arena and we definitely have had um, music, acting, drama, poetry, and, and the sciences, and people don't understand that science is so integral to the arts, and the arts is so integral to, uh, to science. So uh, we've been doing that, and Claudine didn't say this, but she is a playwright herself. <laughs> oh, Claudine. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so she, she will create things for the occasion and we're doing Earth. Uh, so it's, it's been real fun to see it grow and bring a, a very diverse audience without, we don't say anything. We just say, hey, we're doing this play, come audition. And we have people from different backgrounds who may not have acted, mm -hmm. which was all right with us. And uh, so, I mean, that got me hooked. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wonderful. Claudine. I do um, have a question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Claudine, do you have um, anything you want to say from the perspective of an instructor of, the, of any of the camps? Like Penny said, art is a universal language, and so there's no barriers when you're trying to teach a child how to express sadness or to express joy. You know, there's no, no barriers there because every child should know joy. You know, um, there's simple things that you can do to bring out their self-esteem. And I think um, the self-esteem is one of the best tools to broadening a child's spectrum and their, their yearn for learning. And I think the arts is one of the best ways to boost their self-esteem. You know, um, most kids, they'll look at a script and say, there's no way I can, remember all of this stuff. And then I asked them to sing their favorite song. You know, how did you learn the words to the song? You just keep listening to it until you they're in your head and then you can recite them the same way it is with a script. And when it's all said and done, you know, the most of the children will come to me and say, Miss Claudine, can we do this again? You know, it, it captivates them, you know? Um, I tell them there's nothing more satisfying than knowing that a room full of people are clapping and they're clapping only for you. And it just, it just lights their face up. You got to see it. You got to see it. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. So, Dean, so when you were teaching that, was that um, in person then or? We did some classes over Zoom mm -hmm. and we could still get the same effect. Somehow or another, we still connected with them and they still were attentive, you know, and there's lots of things that could capture their attention when you're not there to say, you know, right. so and so put your hands down or, you know, set up. No, they were attentive because it was something new and we presented it in a way to them that they felt like they could be a part of this. Wonderful. So with the camp that you're a part of, was it like just for a few weeks and then there's a end product sort of like performance at the end? How does that work? Well, this particular one, we just did the after school program mm -hmm. and we'd invite them and, and it wasn't required for them. So that was the most interesting part is that they showed up because they wanted to, you know, and um, one of the most impressionable little boys was one that his dad actually um, signed, logged him in prior to his class. And so he just basically sat there for a little bit and he was like, 
The only reason why I'm here is because my dad signed me up. <laughs> but when we got through, he was like, so what time am I supposed to be here next week? You know, he said, I'm going to make sure I tell my dad so I won't be late. You know, he was so excited and so connected to us. So I'm sure he'll be one of our sassy campers this year. Yeah. Wonderful. But we, we did. We just, we did it over Zoom. They weren't required to come, but you give each one of them a chance to come and either recite this um, monologue or um, just something simple as saying A-E-I-O-U, but using different emotions to say it. And they thought that was so much fun. So it was a great experience for both of us. Wonderful. So I know that the anniversary of Gateway Dance is coming up. Um, Penny, can you tell us um, a few things that you've seen over the years? You, you mentioned um, that a particular family, um, but anything else you'd like to share? Or um, if you want to talk about the plans for the anniversary, we'd be happy to hear that. Well, yes, we are uh, putting together an anniversary, 50th anniversary committee. And uh, we, do, we plan to have several events through the year rather than one uh, big performance or dinner or s something like that. And it doesn't necessarily, it can occur simultaneously, but it can be at different venues. It can be a little intimate audience. It can also be Zoom. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, which, I, which we can make available, but um, we'll have little plays, we'll have music, uh, poetry, and not necessarily in English, because I would like to see um, there's so many cultures that are here that have a very rich heritage, right. and that it would be fun to see plays in, in Spanish, in Chinese, in Vietnamese, and, you know, all, all the different, maybe that's a dream, but I think it can happen. <laughs> I, I love that. No, it's a great idea for sure. So uh, we'll be on the lookout for that when that happens. So let's go towards um, some of the current offerings that are coming up, right? So you mentioned a sassy camp. So please tell us a bit more about that and I will share a screen here momentarily. Well, sassy is the acronym for summer arts and science intensive. And our theme this year is earth. And we have some fabulous instructors coming in, we're doing it in person. We have arranged the camp from grades one to 10. And they're broken in two groups, grades one to five come in the morning from nine to 12 and one to four come the, and then five to 10 at uh, one to four. And uh, they will be exposed to uh, the earth sciences. They will be exposed to uh, acting they will work visual art where they will make uh, from re uh, reusable articles, uh, make some visual art with it. And most of all, we have a guest artist coming from Chicago, who's a fabulous dancer. And he's going to be teaching us tap dancing and sharing his uh, expertise and the stories behind uh, tap dance in the United States. It's history connected to African-American history. Claudine, you want to talk a little bit more about what else is going on? Yes, we have um, one of um, Penny's granddaughters, Sydney Ferguson. She's an awesome instructor. Um, she has a degree in culinary arts. And so I'm sure we'll be eating some cookies that are um, shaped and look like the earth. Um, very nice. You'll also let them be making things from recycled material, a, a takeaway, something they can take home to remember their times and uh, at the camp. And I will be introducing some acting skills and some acting, um, you know, tips to the 
first through the fifth graders and then also first and fourth grade and then also do the fifth to the tenth graders. So just enough that um, when we're ready for our showcase, which is gonna be on that Friday, that we'll have just a little bit to show them what they've learned and how introducing them to the arts is not a long process. You know, it won't take them very long to catch on and to get that, that have the acting bug to bite them. So I'm really looking forward to that. Well, in addition, we do have some excellent people uh, coming in uh, to uh, share with us about the sustainability of Earth uh, and, and different aspects of it. We have some, someone from Iowa State University. She has a degree in agriculture and bioengineering. And she's actually going to bring a flat truck and do some things. I told her we didn't have room, but they're going to arrange with some people they know. Awesome. To get that truck there. I just got a call from them this morning, so Claudine <laughs> doesn't know that. And then we've got Ed Fallon and uh, Kathy Burns, who here in Des Moines, who's going to talk about urban farming. They have a book. Uh, it's called Birds and Bees, um, mm -hmm. Urban Farms. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, interesting. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. And of course, with the arts, we will be uh, focused on how that team we can carry through with, with our visual acting arts and the dance, tap dance. You're really beating the earth, <laughs> getting yeah. the noise from the earth. So... Uh, just want to connect it all together for them and somehow the instructors make it happen. This is from the last camp. Right, the last in-person camp we had, which was on photosynthesis and everybody went crazy. They said, how can we do anything with photosynthesis? Well, they did a whole lot. <laughs> and we, you can go ahead and play it if you want to. It's just one minute long. Okay, I'm just trying to share the sound. Can you hear? Oh, is there music or anything? Yeah, there's it comes on too. So. And the, the the musician playing it is actually somebody who works for the company from South Africa. Wonderful. That just gives you a glimpse. Yes. Thank well, uh, Claudine, do you want to quickly share about tapping into knowledge? Yes. That is like going to be so exciting. Um, we're going to hold it at the historical building on, I keep getting that date mixed up. Tuesday, 22nd. June, June 22nd. And from six to seven, we'll be in the lobby of the historical building and we'll be having just a light reception, you know, just so you can get together. Cause it's been so long since we've right. just been able to see each other face to face. So it'll just be a little gathering, you know, we can chit chat for a little bit, but at seven, we're gonna start the program and it's gonna be with um, Jimmy Payne, our um, guest instructor for Sassy Camp. But he also has a presentation that he does um, and takes us through the history of tap dancing and how important it was in the African-American community. So oh, okay. that, that should be very, very interesting. I hope you and some of your coworkers and your children can come out because that should be a fascinating evening. There's no admission. No admission. Okay. Is it on your website yet or no? 
No, we, we're getting ready to. We just <laughs> no worries, <laughs> no worries. Um, we got, I just we, we just got the okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay. And real quickly, we're also going to be the Des Moines Arts Festival, all three days. Mm -hmm. We have a booth there, so it's very interactive. We're going to do henna. We're going to do make craft your own percussion toys mm -hmm. all the way you can wrap your head in different ways we wrap our head or use shawls mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you don't know what else is going to happen uh, so and our performance is on Friday the 25th from 1 30 to 2 but we'll be there all the three days we've got a booth there <laughs> wonderful that sounds like you have some great programming lined up. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely want to keep in touch and we'll sh uh, share the word about it. So thank you so much for sharing. Any other programs you want to mention before we wrap up? Yeah, we have some. Yes, we have on the evening after uh, during the daytime is sassy in the evenings. Uh, we're going to have Jimmy opens his class to the public. Anybody can come in, take classes. And we're also going to have Samba and Bhangra. So it's kind of melting it all together. Mm -hmm. And it's for four days. So that's going on. And there's just a lot of different things occurring on the horizon. But we also want you to know we need volunteers. <laughs> so you, so you can just come and experience for a short time if you want to. Mm -hmm. We'll be at the Des Moines Arts Festival, and we are going to have a volunteer page on the website, and you just can enter your information. Wonderful. So we can't do this without all the community. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. But just remember, she said anybody that passes over the threshold they're stuck with us, so <laughs> it won't be a one-time experience for you. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to share your contact out to people uh, in case they want to reach out um, or follow you on social media or get onto your website. So their website is gatewaydance.org, uh, facebook.com slash gateway dance theater is also where you can find them so um and of course on their website there's a contact form so feel free to reach out to to them about any questions you have about their upcoming programs or about volunteering so um they would love to have that um so thank you so much penny and claudine Really appreciate your time here um, and sharing about the wonderful things you have coming up. Very excited to, uh, to hear them. And um, I'm hoping my son will also be able to participate in some of it this summer, so. That would be awesome. Yes, we'd love to have that. We would love to have Yes. So again, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, again, we have these webinars at 3 p.m. Uh, every day except Sunday. So um, you can feel free to go onto our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash community CPA is where you can find us. Um, and we have all our past webinars on there. Um, and of course, feel free to reach out to me, Catherine at communitycpa.com. Uh, if you have any questions about our services, we are open Monday through Saturday, 8.30 to 5.30. So uh, again, thank you for being on with us today. And I will speak to you soon. Thank, thank you, Penny. You. Thank you, Claudine. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. All right, Catherine. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you. Take care. Namaste.